Welcome students, this is Ms. Medina and we're going to go through discovering the unit circle. And essentially this is what your unit circle is going to look like but we're going to add a dash of color to it. So here's the activity, let's start. If it will cooperate with me, there we go. Alright, you need to make sure that you have access to scissors, a glue stick, and one copy of each of the circles, one in blue, green, yellow, and white. Then I'm going to need you to sit down and you can do this as a group with people so that way you don't make a mistake or anything like that. But I want you to remove everything else from your desk and all I want you to have is the materials that I read to you before. I want you to cut out the blue, green, and yellow circles. Do not cut out the white circle and go ahead and put your name on the white paper. Okay, now once again, you can pause this video as needed and go into the next slide. All right, the unit circle. The unit circle is defined as a circle that has an origin. The center happens to be the origin. And the radius, or this line right here, happens to be exactly one unit. So obviously this one is also one unit. So one unit of whatever you want to call it, centimeter, meter, kilometer, it doesn't matter. One unit of whatever measurement you're using. All right, so all of these are one. And you should be, obviously not the red, but this information right here. So your center occurs at zero, zero, and the distance is one. So this point would be one comma zero, and you should be writing these uh, coordinate points on your white paper. That means that this coordinate over here would be negative one, zero. The coordinate at the top would be zero, one. And the coordinate at the bottom would be zero, negative one. Okay, make sure that you wrote these coordinates down on your white paper. Now, using what we have learned about sketching angles, and when talking about the special right triangles, what are the angle measurements of each of the four angles that we just found? Well, we know that this angle right here would be zero degrees or 360 if we went around the circle, right? This angle right here would be 90 degrees. This one would be 180 and this one would be 270, correct. Right. In radians, this would be zero radians or two pi radians. This one would be pi halves radian. This one would be pi, and then 270 would be three halves pi. Now, make sure that you find a spot on your white unit circle and that you record this information. Now, you pick a line. Um, I picked the, the, there's two lines on your paper, right? I think there's one here and there's one here. I put the 90 here. It's kind of hard to write. And I put the pi halves on this one, okay? So I, that's how I did mine, my paper. Just make sure that you write it nice and neat. Now I want you to use the blue circle, blue circle. You got it? Very good. And I want you to draw a line all the way through the circle at 45 degree angle. And so from here to here, okay? And you went ahead and you sketched this line right here. Sorry, I don't have a straight uh, a ruler. And also at 135 degrees. So here and here. So what I did was I put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And I used a ruler or some sharp edge and I sketched that line. And then I want you to draw straight lines um, down the x-axis from 45 to 135. Right? Oops forming a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So I want you to sketch these lines. Okay. Nice and neat. Please make sure that you're using a ruler. This has to come out straight. Did I say ruler at the beginning as one of the instruments that you needed? I hope I did. And if I didn't, you need a ruler. All right, then, oh, before we actually do the cutout, do not cut anything out. Make sure you're listening to this. We know that at 45, 45, 90 triangle, has two sides that are the same length and then this one would be whatever this side is radical 2 right we, we did this as x x x radical 2 but the triangle that we sketched 
right? Let's see if we can go back here. This triangle right here, right? Has this hypotenuse of one, right? Remember that the radius of the circle is a one, right? So that means that our side lengths are actually radical two over two. We can solve for the side lengths. If your hypotenuse is one, and you know that it's a 45-45 triangle, then, right, these two sides are the same, then we know that the sides over here are going to be radical 2 over 2. All right, now I want you to cut out your blue triangles, and I want you to paste them onto your white circle. If you need a reference, please make sure that you're looking at the exemplar that I have at the front of the desk, the one that I did. And this is basically what it should look like when you cut it out. Um, we want to go ahead and then paste it on top of the white one, All right? Paste it on top of your white circle. And this is what it's going to end up looking like. Please make sure that you're very careful when you're doing this. You got to overlap it just at the right spot. All right. Now we're going to label the angles. We know this one's 45 or pi fourths. And what I did was I labeled it over here inside the triangle because that's the only way that it's not going to be overlapped when we put the other triangles on our final product. I, and I put the information over here, this one, and then the remaining information, I put it over here, and then the final information, the 315, 7 pi fours I placed it over here. Is that it? nice and neat this is your unit circle and this is the one you're going to be using so please make sure that you do this nice and neat and correct all right now we're going to label the coordinates onto our uh, unit circle now we know that this is one this is radical two over two and this side is also radical two over two so that means that this point is radical two over two and the y-axis is radical 2 over 2. There. So what would this coordinate be? Well, negative, because we're going to the left, and then positive, because we're going up. What would this coordinate be? Well, the x would be negative, and the y would be negative. So negative radical 2 over 2, negative radical 2 over 2. What about this one? Well, it would be positive, because we're going to the right. Did I say left? I'm so sorry if I'm confusing you. I don't really mean to. All right, and we're going to the right, so it'll be positive radical over 2 over 2, and then we're going down, so it would be negative, like that. They are correct on the slide, so please make sure that you copy them correctly. All right, once you're done labeling the coordinates, it's time to move on to the green circle. All right, you have the green circle in front of you, and what I want you to do is I want you to do something similar that what we did, but we're going to use the 60-degree angles, or the 60-degree reference angles. And so that's going to be this point right here, this point right here, or 120, uh, not this one, this one right here, and this one right here. So the 60 and the 120, and then I would also mark this point here in the middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, right, like this. In this line, obviously you're using a ruler. I'm not because I'm sketching with the mouse on the computer. And then I want you to draw straight lines coming from this point to here. I really should be using green ink, right? Well, too late for that one. Um, all right, once you've done this, before we cut out, let's talk about what would be this length and this length. We know it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and this is basically the relationship between the sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. But our triangle has a hypotenuse of 1, so then using the 30, 60 relationship, we find that this bottom part is 1 half, and this top part is radical 3 over 2. All right, so cut out the green triangles and then overlay them on top of the blue triangles or they call it blue butterfly in this slide more but all right once you glue it on nice and neat be careful with the edges once again this is your unit circle so you have to make sure you're doing this very carefully 
we're gonna label um, the angles. So we know this one is 60 or pi over six, I mean, pi over three. Sorry, sorry, I saw the six, got confused. Um, this one would be 120 or two pi over three, 240, four pi over three, and 300, five pi over three. And I placed my information right here. Okay. Inside the green triangle, simply because that way when I overlap the other triangle, it won't cover it up. If you put it on the lines, it'll get covered up. So once again, you can go and look at my product if you want to. I'm trying to guide you so that you end up with a really good product. And let's label the um, coordinate points. And we said that this bottom one is one half and this going up is radical three over two. So that means that this coordinate is one half radical three over two. This one, since it's going to the left, that's negative one half, but it's going up. So it's positive radical three over two. The bottom coordinate, it's going to the left, so it's negative one half going down, negative radical three over two. And the 300 coordinate, it's going to the right, so it's positive, it's going down, so it's negative radical three over two. Right, make sure that you label your coordinate points carefully, neatly. Be careful with that negative sign. Make sure that you can read it today and that you can read it in a few days, because this is your unit circle, the one you're going to be using. All right, grab that yellow circle, and we're going to draw lines, and we're going to do them for the 30-degree reference angles. So you're going to pick um, 30 degrees here, 30 degrees here, and you're going to match them to this one, right? Using your ruler, you're going to get your line. So again, I'm using my mouse, so that's why they're coming out all squiggly. Yours should not be squiggly. And then you're going to draw a straight line coming down. And you can go ahead and cut them, but we're going to talk about, okay, what would be this measurement right here and what would be this measurement over here. We know that the 3060 triangle has this relationship. Our hypotenuse has a relationship of one. So in this case, the bottom part would be the radical three over two and the Y part or the height part would be one half. Once you glue it onto your white unit circle, which will be on top of the green now, this is what it would look like. Right, so working with the yellow, let's label the angles. And that's what your angles should be. And I label them inside my yellow triangle. In here, nice and neat. Right, that's where I place them. Came out pretty good, I think, in terms of being able to read the angles. Now let's label the coordinate points. And don't forget, we already did this calculation. We said this was radical three over two, and this one was one half, right? So this point would be radical three over two, one half. This one is going to the left, so it'd be negative radical three over two, going up one half. This one is going to the left, so it's negative, but it's also going down, so it's also negative one half. And the last point at 330, it's positive radical three over two, but it's going down, so it's negative one half. All right, now that you've done labeling them, your final product should look like this. If you covered up any information, and one of the things I noticed was that I ended up covering my, actually I put my 180 here, my pie ended up being covered. So make sure that if you covered anything that you write it in, right? So. I went in and I drew in my pie again because that got covered up. So, but make sure that you can read all of the information from your unit circle. Any questions? All right, we're done.